Hello friends, today we're going to talk about the difference between a planner and a control journal. A planner is what you use daily, a daily planner, so that you look at it every morning and every evening, in the morning to see what's on the agenda, and every evening to see how well you did. Some things I don't put in my planner anymore because I've been doing the Fly Lady system for years and years. Um, but I do have in my planner the actual list of the things that we have to do every day, every week, uh, the zones that's in here. That's in my planner. It's in one page. If there's something out of the ordinary, because this is the ordinary for me, if something's out of the ordinary, let's say I was going to do a weekly home blessing hour on Friday instead of Monday, then on Friday I would write WHB to remind me that morning that I had planned to do my weekly home blessing hour on Friday in this example. So that's what your planner is for. You have everything in there that you wouldn't ordinarily or necessarily remember. Appointments, commitments, um, maybe even a time plan because you just can't seem to get things done. So you have a little bit of a time plan that you say in the morning, I'm going to get these things done in the afternoon, these things done in the evening, these things done. You get to use your planner any way you please, but that's the way I do mine. So if I have something that has to happen in the morning and even at a particular time, I'll put the time there. So if I have a two o'clock appointment at the dentist, it's going to go in the middle block. And it's going to say two o'clock appointment and I'm going to look in the morning and say, oh, I better, I better tell Alexa uh, to remind me at 1.30 to leave the house for my appointment. Okay. Or whatever you use, whatever tool you use, your Google calendar, an alarm on your phone, it doesn't matter. Whatever you use, your Fitbit can remind you, you have a reminder set, but that's what my planner is for. Okay. This, this, control journal is a whole nother thing. Your control journal is for things that you need to go there and see what it is that needs that you need to who you need to contact or something like that. So in your control journal, if you have a home, then you can keep a list of repair people that you really like. Maybe you have a clock repair place that you take your cuckoo clock to, you know, and you never can remember. It's in here. You can also keep it in your phone, and that's fine. I rarely, rarely use my control journal anymore, but I used it for many, many years, especially when I was running my own home. This is my mother's home. Things are winding down here. But in my own home, I had a control journal so that I could say, say I had, uh, for example, I had um, gardenia bushes and the gardenias needed to be cut back a certain time of the year, and they need to be fertilized so many times a year, a, a year with a certain kind of fertilizer. Or my citrus trees need to be fertilized. How to fertilize them? What do I fertilize them with? When do I do that? That was in my control journal. I kept my gardening in my control journal, and I also kept things in my home. So repairmen, um, when I needed to get, um, or who did the carpet cleaning the last time, things like that. Those were in my control journal. Another thing in my control journal would have been um, uh, each room in my house, a list of everything that needed to be done on a weekly, monthly, annually, semi-annually basis in that book. Okay, so for example, the living room, I'd have everything that needed to be done uh, on a weekly basis in the zone in my living room written down so vacuum dust you know all the regular stuff but also clean the switch plates clean the fan blades clean the insides of the windows clean the window sills wash the baseboards those are just some examples clean underneath the cap the seats of the cushions uh, under the cushion seats rather behind under the furniture those kinds of things are written in there so that if I couldn't think of what to do, I could go to my control journal and say, oh, that's what I need to do in my zone. But there were also things that needed to be done once a month. There were things that needed to be done once every two months, once every six months, once a year, let's say getting the carpet cleaned. Maybe I want to get my carpet cleaned every year. Maybe I want to paint the living room every three years. That was in there. What color did I use? Buxton beige, where did it come from? 
It came from um, Sherwin Williams. So I would remember, I would have a place to remember because I can't hold that in my head, all that information. Well, I did that, but <laughs> you know what I mean. You have different rooms, maybe they're different colors or you know, maybe you keep a copy of the information of you had your floors redone with Pergo. What was the name of that Pergo floor color? You know, if you need to get a replacement piece, where is that? Where can I, I got that from Home Depot and it cost me this much a square foot and this is the color and this is the, the number, whatever. You put that in your control journal. That's what a control journal is. It's not something that I looked at every day. It's a control journal that sits on a shelf that you pull out when you need it, like a recipe, like you have a, a cookbook. You pull it out when you need it and you put it back, but it's there. It's a referral. It's a reference book. So I would look at my control journal every month. I would look at it every month to see when I was doing my planning for the next month, what do I need out of here? Let me look at each of these rooms. That's what I use my control journal for. So that's what you'll be using a control journal for. You can also put other things in your control journal. I have a holiday control journal. I had a financial control journal. And guess where you can get these? You can go to flylady.net and you can print them for free. And you can put holes in them and put them in your control journal, a three ring binder. I even put on the front a copy of the control journal. This is a 2003 version of Fly Lady. And it says my control journal. That goes in the front on mine. That's what I put. Because she already came up with it. No need to reinvent the wheel. Now, you will probably have to edit it a little bit and change things a little bit. But in general, it's pretty good. So there's also a travel control journal for packing. There's lots of different control journals. Don't go nuts and don't go crazy printing th thousands of things. Just print one for now, put it in there and kind of start working on your control journal. It's not something that should take your whole day or all of your life. It's just a few minutes. Once you've got everything done, you have a little quiet time, then print it out and make yourself a little control journal, okay? But it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is your planner. Okay, that's it for today. I hope this is helpful for you, and I hope you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.